85-year-old Vera Jenkins Booker worked at Good Samaritan Hospital during the voting rights struggle of the 60s. I was the 11 to 7 supervisor for seven and a half years at the Good Samaritan Hospital, and I was there in 1965. Booker says Jimmy Lee Jackson was the only patient to come to the hospital on the night he came. She found out later he was brought in by Albert Turner Sr. I saw the blood and I pulled up his shirt and that was a hole on the left side of his abdomen where the intestine had come out. About the, about the size of a medium grape grapefruit. She says Jackson had surgery that night and seemed well for a time, then suddenly took a turn for the worse and died after a second surgery. Booker says she helped take care of Jackson and talked with him during his time in the hospital until he died. He told me all about being in service, how he had worked, but he was working in Marion, doing all he could to get all the blacks, everybody he could, to vote. His death sparked the idea for the Selma to Montgomery march. State troopers attacked marchers during one of the march attempts, a day now known as Bloody Sunday. Booker says she was called in to work that day to help with the turmoil. You talking about chaos, chaos, chaos it was. Booker says Jimmy Lee Jackson has been in her thoughts during monumental voting rights moments like the signing of the Voting Rights Act and the election of former President Barack Obama. I feel like his death was not in vain. Reporting from Selma, George McDonald, Alabama News Network. Thank you, George. Good Samaritan Hospital was the only hospital in Selma for blacks during the 1960s. The historical building now sits in a state of disrepair.